This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S-1 Ison and WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Part 20 is Ison's imprint already on the sun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, bear with me here, if you will. Uh, this one's going to be light and easy. Probably won't be my best written or edited episode, but I just remembered and found something that I thought was very important. Sometimes the subconscious mind works for us when we don't even know it. About a month ago, almost exactly, I made a video called, What is that strange reoccurring shape in the sun? I called it a bat. I believe I even called it a flying V. And then after I posted the raw data from the Hubble up, it kind of dawned on me. Wow, that looks almost exactly like the shape we've been seeing in the sun. So I'll show you clips of the both, uh, of the two, the shape and the sun, and then what Comet Ison looks like now. From all the artifacts and the Indiana Jones flip-flops and stuff, you know? Um, and the raw, quirked out cosmic rays and the, the lens flares and the, and the dust in the camera and stuff. But I just thought this was a crazy coincidence that the shape I'd referred to in the video I made a month ago looks a whole lot like Ison and the raw data. So that's it. And that's pretty much what this video is about. How they just happen to look exactly alike. Is Ison already affecting the sun? It's a good question. No, but if you'll notice, like what I mentioned yesterday, hey, this looks like a flying V. See, over this episode, I'm going to be showing you the, the flying V data, as we, we shall see, where it looks like it, it's a big flying V. And in that video that I made a month ago, I mentioned, hey, it looks like a flying V. But if you'll notice, it's got like the flying V in the middle, and then it's got the, the, the arms that extend out. Uh, I believe some of these are from January, February, and now the flying V is back. And I'm wondering, what could that be? And I reiterated yesterday, hey, that looks like a flying V. Okay, the raw data shows a bunch of stuff which makes the woo-woo people go woo-woo, and he's right. When you look at Ison, it's got those two wings, like, you know, famed celestial objects have, supposedly have, where it's like the winged planet, winged star, winged comet, you know, it's got the flying V off of it, which looks pretty cool. But anyway, so to catch up, right now, I'm gonna let you watch that episode. I think it's only like two, three minutes, and then I'll be back to say some crazy shit about it. Okay, great, ready, go. Thor News presents, what is that strange reoccurring shape in the sun? Hey, I've been wanting to ask this question for a while. Like, I know the sun is a lot like clouds. It just takes strange shapes from time to time. Well, I mean, the sun maintains some form of hydrostatic equilibrium at all times. But inside the sun, we get all these zany, crazy, wacky shapes. Like, we've seen triangles before. My favorite, of course, was a couple months ago, I think in February. We had a seahorse in the sun, and everybody loves seahorses because they're like a combination between a mermaid and a horse, you know? Like, if you gotta uh, uh, ride a horse through the sea, then you, you want to use a seahorse. No, that is not true. They cannot be domesticated. Seahorses cannot. And they're very tiny. You would have to have some, like, shrink them down to tiny people size potion to uh, ride a seahorse. And I don't think potions like that really exist. Anyway, let's get to the point. Point is that for a couple months, what I was calling a bat, there was a bat in the sun. You know, like Batman. Bat in the sun. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about it here. I'm talking about bats in the sun, baby. If you, but if you notice, it's got like the flying V in the middle, and then it's got the the, the arms that extend out. Uh, I believe some of these are from January, February, and now the flying V is back. And I'm wondering, what could that be? I know at times when people talk about Nibiru, Nibiru, the Nibiru had horns, kind of like this flying V, right? Um, is it like Comet Ison's reflection off the sun with the flying V, or maybe it's a neutron star, man? Maybe we got a cool kick-ass friendly neutron star headed our way that's gonna say hello to the sun and our solar system. You think that could be it? Heck no. I'm gonna turn it over to the scientists and the um, amateur astronomers. They know everything there is to know about the sun, so they can tell us instant. Oh yeah, it's just a shape from the corona cooling off after far too many sun beers. Ooh, I bet sun beer would be delicious and it would get you really drunk. Or like Mitch Hedberg used to say, if carrot got you drunk, Rabbits would be effed up. <laughs> All right, that's a funny joke. Anyway, so I ain't saying much in this video other than this strange shape has been a reoccurring for a long time. Not that long, a couple months now. And I'm very, very curious. What could the shape be? I mean, I know the sun doesn't make choices. It's all processes and sequences for the sun. So what could be causing this shape to keep reoccurring on the sun? That is what I would like to know. Is something coming our way? I would guess it's common ice, but I'm biased. To me, when I see a, a dead rabbit in the road, I look and go, is that Comet Ison? Oh yeah, I'm crazy like that. Okay, shit! Okay, dang. But seahorses, if a seahorse and a bat could mate, I bet their baby would be real creepy and scary. Be like a flying bat seahorse. Nobody wants that, so. Okay, I will sit here on the edge of my seat holding my breath for a modern official scientist to explain to me what the shape is. Okay, God bless everybody. Later.
All right, I don't know why, but I'm guessing the doom level just jumped about 10%. So we are now at 12 to 22% doom, people. I don't know why. Maybe that's awesome. Then maybe we're at negative 8% doom, people. I don't know, I'm bad at doom math. So yeah, that's pretty weird, wouldn't you say? That that shape in the sun that I had personally been tracking for at least five or six months looks exactly like the raw data with all the artifacts and jelly beans and Easter egg from the Hubble data that I got out of. Once again, thanks to the Hubble Hangout in the Hubble. Yes, this is probably the part of the show where I'm just rambling on. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I got the chills when I found out. I think if you look on earlier, even when I went to do the audio, my voice cracked a bit. I thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, so I'm going to try and make another non icing video in the near future. Like, what does that mean? I wish we could get a diagram that showed us exactly where icing is in relation to the sun as the sun is turning. Like, I don't know, that's just some strange strange that's got to be a coincidence man yeah it's lens flare dust cosmic it's cosmic rays in the sun that's probably what we're getting we're getting the data all smudged up and, and mashy faced exactly i think nuclear i don't know why i just said that um that's a dumb word i mean the word is not dumb itself words inherently cannot have an intelligence and uh continue praying to the stars and wishing upon every falling star i see that i get to hang out whatever man i'm out of here this has been Captain Sum Ping Wong. Thanks for flying Thor News Airlines. Holy food.